Oh, what's up, my fellow wizards? Yes, you read the title right. You can, in fact, sync your lamp chasers to the BPM of your music. So here I just grabbed one of the pre-made techno songs from the starter library. I've got a generic five channel on-off light. We'll just go in here to the lamp chaser. Uh, we'll select five lamps sensibly enough and you just check over here auto beat sync uh, and you can set the minimum maximum auto beat lock all that kind of stuff remember don't be afraid to go ahead and hit f1 and check through your spell book it's your best friend it'll show you everything you need to know i mean look at this look at how huge this is take a look through these features sometime all right and now with that enabled Go ahead and click on one of these, and then hold control, click on the other one, right click, sync chaser BMP. BPM? I don't know. No scaling. Detected a scaled tempo. And then, here we go. Awesome, right? But wait, there's even more. All right, so check this out. What if you want to change the BPM on the fly? Let me go ahead and add another control track. Let's mute this one. Grab all our channels here. I'm going to control C, control V, this down here. So instead of auto beat sync, though, we're going to go ahead and put on tap. So now, in order to see the beat tapper, you're going to have to have the cue control window enabled. And there we go. If you've never used the beat tapper before, it lets you tap in a beat that senses how long it's been between the last two clicks, or if you press T on the keyboard. But now it's going to be synced to whatever that is. <laughs> Awesome, right? Well, it gets even better. Because with the beat tapper, I can just go ahead and go over here, make a couple of Q buttons, and I can select an event. We can get the uh, set tapper BPM, and just pick whatever you want, 30, 60. Let's set it at 299. Nice round number. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that to you. You can set it at 60. Let's just call it 60 BPM. And then while it's running, there you go, just like that. Make a whole bunch of them. Just choose whatever BPM you want on demand. You can also drop events like that right onto an event track so that during the song, if you don't want to do it manually, live, you can just have it change as you want it to. Uh, and also, if you feel like it, you can pre-program it using the envelope editor, like you would do for any other DMX level. When you do that, you set the maximum here, and then when you're using the envelope editor, it will go from 0 up to 100% of whatever the max BPM you set here was. But hang on, we're still not done. Now, you can do external control for the chaser speed. Let's add yet another control track. Add these channels back on here. Control C, Control V, and mute that one. Then this one, we'll go ahead and use the external control. Uh, let's make the max, why not, 600. Let's just go nuts. And then go and set that up here. I'm going to use the VCS slider down at the bottom. Virtual control surface. Master sliders, not the master sliders. We're going to use good old VCS1, our little friend down here. All right. There you go.
all kinds of syncing options, all kinds of pre-made live customizable. Venue Magic can basically be whatever you want it to be. The most common question I get is, well, can I do this or do I have to do this? And the answer is pretty much always yes. Yes, you can do both. Take care, friends. <laughs> <laughs>